Hi, Nooksack families. Katie Brown here. Um, I wanted to just uh, push out a little video as we're we're coming to the last four weeks of our school year, if you can believe it. Um, thank you for everything you're doing. And I wanted to give you a little bit of an outline of kind of what those next four weeks will entail. Um, and I'll do that in a few different ways. So the first um, question that families um, have had this week is, when's the last learning packet week, that last Thursday. So I made a little calendar. I'm just gonna hold it up to the screen that might be helpful. So the Thursdays are here in orange. Give you a second to look at that. So we have this coming Thursday, the 28th, which is a learning packet pickup day. Then we have June 4th, which is a learning packet pickup day. And then our last day will be Thursday, June 11th. And that Thursday will be the last learning packet of the school year. It will also entail um, activities and memory books and things that we would traditionally do the last week of school. So we really want um, the last you know, part of the school year to still feel like the last part of the school year and some have some of those special activities and um, things that kids really uh, enjoy doing. So those will be in that last packet on the 11th. So there will not be a learning packet pickup on Thursday, June 18th. The last day of school is Friday, June 19th, and we will be sending you a lot more information about that, but we're planning on having an event um, anytime between 12 and 1, like a parade where families can come and drive around the school. Um, we still won't be able to do the you know, social interaction, but we'll, our staff can be standing six feet apart and you know waving, and we have um, some special things for our fifth graders that uh, fifth grade teachers have been communicating with fifth grade families. So um, you can plan for that, but I just wanted to make sure you knew that um, Thursday, June 11th, will be the last um, packet to come pick up at school. Um, and in addition to that, uh, we, we really want our kids to continue to focus on learning their weekly schedules for their learning packets. And we also want to have fun at the same time and connect with each other and continue to have our kids feel that we're here and we're still a community. So we've also planned kind of some fun stuff for the next four weeks of school also, um, starting with the reading challenge, which starts next week on Monday. So here's a little picture of that. So you'll notice next week Wiz is going to focus on the reading challenge and we'll have a different challenge kids can do each day. The following week will be, we're calling it art week. So there, we want kids to be able to post any um, art, talent, or gift that they have or anything that they've drawn or maybe they create a rock structure outside, anything involving artwork and take a picture of it, post it on our Facebook page so we can comment about it. There also might be some art projects um, in learning packets. Um, you'll have to see, wait and see about that. And then the following week, we're calling it uh, Guess the Staff Member Week. So we'll be posting a different picture of a staff member or a teacher from our school um, from their childhood. And students can guess who they think it might be. And then we'll reveal um, each time. So that will happen throughout that, that week. Um, and then the last week of school, um, June 15th through 19th, we traditionally do field day, the last uh, part of the last day of school, sometimes or the day before. So we're gonna do field week this year. So we will have a different challenge every day of the last week of school. And the challenge will be just anything, ordinary items that you have at home. Uh, Ms. Meyer and Ms. G will be creating some videos and some activities to send home so every student can participate and send some pictures. And then again, that last day of school um, will culminate there on the 19th. So you don't have to worry about all of these things. We just wanted to let you know it was coming. What's really important is next week, starting Monday is the reading challenge. And so we will post a different activity each day, Monday through Friday. If your students participate in just one of them, 
we will send them a super cool pencil as a prize in the following week's learning packet. So check out our Facebook page and enjoy seeing each other's pictures. Um, if you don't feel comfortable posting on Facebook, you can also take a picture of the reading challenge for the day and text that or email or send it to your teacher and that can definitely earn your pencil prize as well. So we hope we can balance staying focused on some learning, having some fun and connecting at the same time. And please reach out to us with your questions and we are always here for you. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day on Monday. And we will get back at it on Tuesday. Thanks everybody.